Have you ever thought about the secrets to happier, healthier legs and feet? Strong circulation in your legs and feet isn't just about staying on your toes. It's the key to keeping your body in top form. With good circulation, your legs and feet get all the oxygen and nutrients they need while waste is whisked away. In today's video, we'll explore 12 easy ways to supercharge your leg and foot circulation. Whether you want to stay healthy or simply feel peppier and comfier, these tips are your ticket to better blood flow and a happier and healthier you. Before we dive into this though, please ring that bell for future notifications and subscribe to Healthy K channel for more insightful health content on your feet. Exercise is a fantastic way to boost blood circulation in your legs and feet. When you get moving, your heart pumps blood more efficiently, delivering oxygen and nutrients to your muscles. It's like a workout for your blood vessels. Several studies have shown that regular exercise can improve leg and foot circulation. For example, a study published in the American Journal of Physiology found that aerobic exercise, like brisk walking or swimming, can enhance the function of the blood vessels in your legs. This means more blood flows through your veins, nourishing your muscles and tissues. Even simple activities like stretching and bending your toes and ankles can help. These movements engage your calf muscles, which act like a pump to push blood back up your legs. In a study conducted at the University of Missouri, researchers found that ankle exercises improved blood flow in the lower limbs. So don't you underestimate the power of those toe wiggles. Another study from the American Heart Association found that resistance exercises such as leg lifts or squats can also increase blood flow to your legs. These exercises strengthen your leg muscles, making it easier for blood to circulate. So, whether it's a brisk walk, toe wiggles, or leg lifts, make exercise a part of your daily routine. It doesn't have to be intense, just regular movement can do wonders for your leg and foot circulation. Kicking the smoking habit is one of the most crucial steps you can take to improve blood circulation in your legs and feet. Smoking and good circulation simply don't mix. Studies have consistently shown that smoking damages blood vessels and reduces the flow of blood throughout your body. This is because the chemicals in tobacco can make your blood thicker and your blood vessels narrower, making it harder for blood to move freely. For example, a study published in the Journal of Vascular Surgery found that smoking significantly increased the risk of developing peripheral arterial disease, or PAD for short. PAD is a condition where blood flow to your legs and feet is restricted, leading to pain and other problems. By quitting smoking, you can start to repair the damage and allow your blood vessels to function better. Research indicates that within just a few weeks to months of quitting, your blood circulation can significantly improve, reducing the risk of PAD and other circulatory issues. But quitting smoking can be tough. It's not just a physical addiction, it's also a psychological one. However, there are many resources available, including support groups, medications, and counseling that can help you quit for good. Remember, quitting smoking isn't just about your legs and feet, it's about your overall health. When you give up smoking, you're not only improving your circulation, but you're also lowering your risk of heart disease, lung problems, and various types of cancer. Staying well hydrated is a simple yet highly effective way to boost blood circulation in your legs and feet. Hydration or drinking enough water is like giving your body the liquid gold it needs to keep everything running smoothly. Here's how it works. When you're adequately hydrated, your blood is more fluid, making it easier for your heart to pump it throughout your body. This means your legs and feet get their fair share of the good stuff, oxygen and nutrients. But what happens when you don't drink enough water? Well, your blood can become thicker like ketchup and that makes it more challenging for your heart to circulate it effectively. Your legs and feet may end up feeling tired and sluggish and you might even experience swelling. Several studies have shown the importance of hydration for good circulation. For instance, a study in the Journal of Applied Physiology found that dehydration can reduce blood flow to your muscles, leading to decreased performance and discomfort. The Institute of Medicine recommends that men aim for about 3.7 liters or 125 ounces of total water intake per day, and women should aim for around 2.7 liters or 91 ounces. Now, this includes water from all beverages and foods, so it's not just about chugging gallons of water. Also, keep an eye on the color of your urine. Pale yellow means you're well hydrated, while dark yellow or amber may signal dehydration. Omega-3 fatty acids are like superheroes for your body, especially when it comes to improving blood circulation in your legs and feet. These healthy fats, often found in certain foods, provide the essential building blocks for a strong and flexible circulatory system. 
You can find omega-3s in foods like fatty fish, think salmon, mackerel, and sardines, flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. These tiny powerhouses do wonders for your cardiovascular health. Here's how they work their magic. Omega-3s have anti-inflammatory properties, which help reduce inflammation in your blood vessels. When your blood vessels are less inflamed, they can relax and expand more easily, allowing for smoother blood flow to your legs and feet. Numerous studies have highlighted the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids. For instance, a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that omega-3 supplementation improved blood flow in the legs and reduced markers of inflammation. Including more omega-3 rich foods in your diet or considering supplements can be a tasty way to enhance your circulation. Just a few servings of fatty fish each week or sprinkling some ground flax seeds on your cereal can make a significant difference. The American Heart Association recommends eating at least two servings of fatty fish per week for heart and vascular health. Now, managing stress is key to improving blood circulation in your legs and feet. When you're stressed, your body's fight-or-flight response can constrict blood vessels, reducing blood flow to your extremities. Learning how to chill out and relax is like opening the floodgates for better circulation. So, how can you manage stress to boost your leg and foot circulation? First, deep breathing. Simple deep breathing exercises can do wonders. When you breathe deeply, it calms your nervous system and helps blood vessels to relax. Try inhaling deeply through your nose for a count of four, holding for four, and then exhaling slowly through your mouth for another count of four. Then there's meditation. Regular meditation can significantly reduce stress. It's like a mental spa day. Even just a few minutes of focused breathing and mindfulness can make a big difference. Next, exercise. We've talked about exercise already, but it's a great stress buster too. Physical activity releases endorphins, your body's natural mood lifters. Yoga. Yoga combines stretching, deep breathing, and mindfulness, making it an excellent stress management tool. Plus, it promotes flexibility and muscle strength too. Healthy lifestyle. Eating a balanced diet, getting enough sleep, and limiting caffeine and alcohol can all contribute to better stress management. Time management. Sometimes stress comes from feeling overwhelmed by too many tasks. Learning how to manage your time effectively can be a game changer. Social support. Talking to friends and family can help you feel better. Don't hesitate to lean on your support network when you're feeling stressed. And last but definitely not least, professional help. If stress is interfering with your daily life, it's a good idea to speak with a therapist or a counselor. They can provide you with strategies for managing stress effectively. When you manage stress, you're essentially giving your blood vessels a break, allowing them to open up and let blood flow more freely to your legs and feet. So don't let stress hold you back. Use these techniques to help your circulation and, in the process, improve your overall well-being. Compression socks, often referred to as compression stockings, are like a gentle, constant massage for your legs and they play a vital role in improving blood circulation in your lower extremities. These specially designed socks provide graduated pressure, meaning they are tightest at the ankle and gradually loosen as they move up the leg. This pressure helps blood vessels work more efficiently, pushing blood back toward the heart and preventing it from pooling in your legs and feet. Research has consistently supported the effectiveness of compression socks. A study in the Journal of Vascular Surgery found that compression stockings reduced venous symptoms and improved quality of life in patients with chronic venous disease. You can find compression socks in various compression levels, so it's important to choose the right one for your needs. It's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure you get the right fit and pressure level. Whether you're an athlete looking to improve performance or someone seeking relief from leg discomfort, compression socks can be a valuable addition to your daily routine. They work like a secret weapon, providing constant support for your leg and foot circulation, making your daily activities more comfortable and promoting overall well-being. Leg elevation is a straightforward yet powerful way to improve blood circulation in your legs and feet. It's like giving your lower extremities a refreshing break and allowing blood to flow more freely. When you elevate your legs, you're essentially reducing the force of gravity on them. This makes it easier for your blood to flow back toward your heart, preventing it from pooling in your legs and feet. One significant benefit of leg elevation is reduced swelling. If you spend a lot of time sitting or standing, fluid can accumulate in your legs, leading to swelling. Elevating your legs helps drain this excess fluid, reducing swelling and discomfort. Moreover, it can also aid in improved circulation. By elevating your legs, you're aiding blood flow back to your heart. 
This can be especially helpful for individuals with circulation issues, as it allows blood to circulate more freely throughout your lower extremities. Additionally, leg elevation can relieve feelings of tiredness and heaviness in your lower extremities. When you've been on your feet for a long time, elevating your legs can help reduce the sensation of fatigue and promote comfort. To elevate your legs effectively, find a comfortable spot, sit or lie down in a comfortable position, and elevate your legs above heart level. If you're lying down, prop your legs up on cushions or pillows. If you're sitting, ensure your feet are resting on a stool or an elevated surface. Stay in this position for 15 to 20 minutes, and you can do this a few times a day, especially if you've been on your feet for an extended period. Leg elevation is a simple practice that can bring significant relief and promote better circulation. Whether you're dealing with swelling or fatigue, or just want to enhance your overall well-being, taking a few minutes each day to elevate your legs can be a game-changer. So, give your legs and feet the rest they deserve and let gravity do its part in boosting your blood circulation. So, what exactly is dry brushing? It involves gently scrubbing your skin with a dry, natural bristle brush. This exfoliating technique offers several benefits for your circulation and overall well-being. Dry brushing helps stimulate the lymphatic system, which is crucial for eliminating toxins and waste from your body. By clearing these waste products, your circulatory system can work more efficiently. Dry brushing removes dead skin cells, leaving your skin smoother and brighter. This can also help open up your pores and reduce the risk of skin issues. As you brush, it creates a gentle friction on your skin, increasing the blood flow to the area. This can help reduce the feeling of cold or numb feet and legs. To dry brush effectively, first, use a natural bristle brush with a long handle so you can reach all areas of your body. Second, start at your feet and move upwards. Always brush towards your heart to support the flow of blood and lymph. Third, use gentle circular motions. Don't press too hard, the brushing should invigorate, not irritate your skin. And fourth, shower afterward to wash away any exfoliated skin and follow with moisturizer to keep your skin hydrated. Research specific to dry brushing and circulation is somewhat limited, but many people swear by its benefits for improving the look and feel of their legs and feet. Incorporating dry brushing into your routine just a few times a week can be a pampering yet effective way to enhance blood circulation in your lower extremities and maintain healthy, vibrant skin. So give it a try and let your legs and feet enjoy the gentle, rejuvenating massage of dry brushing. Imagine your blood vessels as the roads and highways of your body. A diet rich in fruits and vegetables paves the way for smooth traffic, keeping these vital pathways clear and obstacle-free. These foods provide the necessary vitamins and antioxidants to maintain your vascular health, ensuring that your arteries remain flexible and open, allowing blood to flow freely to your legs and feet. And let's not forget the fiber champions, whole grains, oats, and legumes. They act as traffic cops, keeping cholesterol levels in check and preventing any roadblocks in your arteries, thereby enhancing the flow of blood. Omega-3 fatty acids found in delicious offerings like fatty fish, flax seeds, and walnuts are the soothing agents. They calm down any inflammation, ensuring that your blood vessels stay relaxed and open, like well-maintained roads on a scenic route. Stay hydrated and you're essentially keeping your circulation well lubricated, much like well-oiled gears in a machine, preventing your blood from becoming thick and sluggish. But remember, there are those troublemakers too. Excess salt can lead to water retention and high blood pressure, which can be quite the roadblock on your path to better circulation. And the villains of trans fats in fried and processed foods can stiffen up your arteries, causing traffic jams in your circulatory system. So, be a conscientious traveler on this journey, and your legs and feet will enjoy the benefits of improved circulation while you revel in a more vital and energetic you. Your diet is not just nourishment, it's the roadmap to your well-being. Reducing alcohol consumption is a positive step toward improving blood circulation in your legs and feet. While moderate alcohol consumption may have some cardiovascular benefits, excessive alcohol can hinder circulation and negatively impact your overall health. Moderate alcohol consumption can have a mild blood thinning effect, potentially reducing the risk of blood clots. However, excessive alcohol can thin the blood too much, leading to issues with circulation. Heavy drinking can raise your blood pressure, which is a significant risk factor for poor circulation. High blood pressure can damage blood vessels and restrict blood flow to your legs and feet. Chronic alcohol abuse can weaken your heart muscle, making it less effective at pumping blood. This can have a direct impact on circulation throughout your body. 
Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to a condition called alcoholic neuropathy, which damages the nerves that control blood vessel constriction and dilation. This can result in problems with circulation too. Alcohol can cause the blood vessels to dilate, leading to the development or exacerbation of varicose veins, which can impair blood flow. To promote better circulation and overall health, it's advisable to limit alcohol consumption to moderate levels, which typically means up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men, according to the US Department of Health and Human Services. Now, regular massage is a delightful and therapeutic way to enhance blood circulation in your legs and feet. Beyond being a luxury, it offers numerous benefits that can significantly improve your overall well-being. One of the key advantages of regular massages is the enhancement of blood flow. During a massage, the skilled hands of a therapist apply pressure and use kneading motions, which stimulate the blood vessels in your legs and feet. This stimulation helps push blood through your veins, directing it back toward your heart and preventing it from pooling in your lower limbs. The result is improved circulation, which can lead to reduced discomfort and a greater sense of vitality in your lower extremities. In addition to the immediate boost in circulation, massages have the power to relax tense muscles. Tense muscles can restrict blood flow, making it harder for blood to move through your veins. Regular massages can help alleviate muscle tension, ensuring that your muscles don't impede the circulation of blood. This can lead to a more comfortable and free-flowing experience in your legs and feet. Moreover, massages are well known for their stress relief benefits. When you're relaxed, your body is better at maintaining optimal circulation. Stress can constrict blood vessels, impeding the flow of blood to your extremities. Regular massage sessions act as a form of stress management, helping counteract the negative impact of stress on your circulation. So, if you're seeking a way to invigorate your legs and feet while promoting relaxation and stress reduction, regular massages are an excellent option. They offer a multifaceted approach to improving blood circulation and overall well-being, making your legs and feet feel pampered and reinvigorated. Black and green teas are not just soothing beverages, they can be a delightful way to enhance blood circulation in your legs and feet. Packed with antioxidants and beneficial compounds, these teas support your vascular health. Here's how black and green tea can contribute to improved circulation. Both black and green teas are brimming with antioxidants, such as flavonoids. These antioxidants act as guardians, shielding your blood vessels from damage caused by free radicals. This protection keeps your blood vessels healthy and robust, ensuring a smooth and unhindered flow of blood to your legs and feet. The antioxidants in these teas have been associated with better blood vessel function. They assist blood vessels in relaxing and dilating, ultimately promoting improved circulation. Chronic inflammation can negatively affect blood vessels' health and circulation. Black and green teas contain anti-inflammatory compounds that can reduce inflammation and bolster the overall health of your circulatory system. And that would be it for today's video. What do you think? Which one of these did you find most helpful? And do you know any other ways to improve blood circulation in legs and feet? Do let us know down in the comments, and as for everything else, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to HealthyK channel for more insightful health content on your feet. As always, thanks for watching.